testing, testing, one, two, three. Pat Again, our favorite comedian, Patrick Oldland. Hey, everybody. My name is Patrick Oldland, the New World Man, and I have my joke books for sale tonight. I have a new one, which is a quarter of, a, of, of 125 jokes, 30 jokes for $1, instead of $4 or $6 or $10. Screaming deal. <clears throat> Get your wallet out. Okay, so Trump went to a French restaurant. Now he has a new slogan. slogan. He wants to make... America crepes again. Ah, uh, there we go. Got him. Uh, nice. <laughs> I like crepes. W what do you call a dinosaur that dies? A dinosaur. Ah. Uh, an eight-year-old gave that. Eight-year-olds with seen some joke books with their dads and say, oh, <laughs> "He's got a joke for you." Okay, nice. let's hear it. <laughs> and if you barbecue the the same dinosaur, you get a well well dinosaur. <clears throat> I kind of added the kid's joke. <laughs> How pitiful is that? Yeah. <laughs> Eight-year-old suing me for copyright. <laughs> yeah. how, how do you know when? <clears throat> how do you know when you have a big tub? How do you know? When you get in for a bath, you find yourself singing, "Climb every mountain." For every stream. <laughs> you could have sung that one. That 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 Vladimir, that Vladimir Putin guy can have such a such a such a nice public face, yet they say he uh, commits atrocities like murder and um, an election fraud, uh, which gives me the heebie cabie jeebies. <laughs> <laughs> what do you, what do you call it when you when you when you make several <clears throat> what do you call it when you make several stops for drugs en route to getting on the freeway? What? Getting on a frontage road. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus walk Jesus pulls by me in the store and says Am I in your way? I want to leave Iraq, so I ran. Here in Iran, it seems so troublesome, but at least I know I have a nuclear family. I decided that's kind of distasteful. Right? Yeah. So, George W. got up at 6 a.m., walked four or five miles on his ranch, planted a few trees in the afternoon, then, then, a, then a barbecue at night with his friends. 10 p.m. came, and his wife Laura says, Are you ready for bed? George says, I am bushed. Alarms go off. Secret Service men swing in on ropes with their guns drawn. The senior Secret Serviceman says, <clears throat> pulls the president around, aside and says, Mr. President, please watch what you say. When you say things like, I am bushed, it sounds like I am ambushed. <laughs> I was at my computer desk writing 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 up yet another stand up act and I and I started I started I started out I started out a, I saw I saw I looked out the window and I saw some beautiful flowers and I was slightly dozing I remembered the queen planted them here 50 years ago and, 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 and told me not to tell anyone she planted them. So the head mum gives me the mum not to mention the beautiful mums. Specifically, who planted them? And, and the head mum and the head mum says she, she, she didn't want to be known as the one who broke the mum because about the mums, she figured that by the time anyone found out, this head mum would be an old mummy. <laughs> so, so, so you, you see, whenever these mums were planted, the queen's best men engineered them to produce extra seed 
and travel far until they had plenty of rest, 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 representation all over the world. So, now we just need a mum to represent all the different patches of mums around the world, and all the mums for each patch of mums can get together and work out any problems. And and the mums of many mums could have could, could have after all after all who could argue with the mum in good standing in around her patch of mums. I'm sorry, Queen Mum, that I gave you up about the mums. Does that mean you're no longer going to knight me at age sixty? <laughs> Thank you very much. Yay. That joke made me a mummy. Dog. The reason I did that joke is because I was trying to do a flower joke for for, for the Nat Suez guy, Dr. Andy, who he, he does poetry night, so anyway. Pat is always trying to cater his set to like current events and stuff. I freaking love it. Love it, Pat. You're a legend. <laughs>